Hello Taurus, Archie Dunlop here with your horoscope for the weekend of January the 13th and 14th 2024. So as you move into this weekend, uh, particularly on Saturday, um, you're going to be quite ambitious. Uh, you're going to want to make things happen. Um, so if you are working over the weekend, um, then uh, I think you're going to make good progress. Um, you know, even if no one else is working. In fact, maybe that's best. Um, if you're the only one around um, focusing on business and ambitions and that kind of thing, um, then, you know, you'll have a, then you'll have a lot of freedom to do things um, your way. And I think, um, you know, Saturday, that is really important. You need space and uh, you need the opportunity to be, uh, to be inventive. Um, so that is something you can do. Now, even if you're not working on Saturday, um, you can do some good planning. Um, you also might find that you have some really interesting ideas, ideas which um, are a bit unusual. They may actually be unpopular, but, uh, you know, you are an individual. And, you know, I know that Taurus has a reputation for being sort of solid, um, dare I say, it, a little bit unimaginative. I mean, I don't mean that. I'm just talking about textbook stereotypes. Um, that's the reputation, but of course it's not the reality. And on Saturday, your imagination is going to be on great form. And you're going to have lots of interesting ideas, ideas which really are going to put you ahead of the pack. So if you have ideas, um, make sure you work on these ideas uh, because, you know, these I ideas could turn out to be um, could turn out to be extremely useful. And uh, don't forget to other people. Um, you are at the moment in a position where you can make um, lots of interesting contacts um, with people who are perhaps unusual, um, who have a rather strange view of the world. Um, now, that view of the world might at first seem a bit threatening. Um, it might not be what you were expecting, but if you listen to what people are saying, if if you try to understand um, people's particular perspective, then I think you'll start to start to see that, uh, you know, things can change, um, that uh, an unusual approach um, may well be um, the best approach. Now, looking at Sunday, um, in one sense, I, this um, desire for social interaction does um, continue. Um, yes, there will be people to meet, people to interact with, uh, but uh, it may not be entirely satisfactory. Um, there won't be complete free flow on Sunday. Um, you know, people just uh, relaxing, doing their thing, um, not really focusing on anything. No, there is going to be on Sunday, um, a bit of pressure, you know, even when you're with friends, people you really know and trust, um, there could be a sense of um, being pushed in a particular direction. And, you know, you may find that some people who should know better are perhaps being control freaks, um, and, you know, maybe trying to sort of push you in a particular direction, a direction that you are not, um, that you're not entirely um, comfortable with. And on a different note, um, it's worth noting that Mercury is changing sign. Mercury is changing sign from Sagittarius to Capricorn. And, you know, that could have an influence on you. Uh, you know, there have been a lot of planets in Capricorn recently. I mean, still this weekend, um, you know, Mars is in Capricorn, Sun is in Capricorn, Pluto's in Capricorn. Um, 
but Mercury moves into Capricorn as well. And, you know, Mercury is the communication planet. And, you know, for the first time, you know, you might have these sort of ideas about what you want to do, uh, sort of broad ideas, um, ideas that may be a little bit difficult to articulate. They feel like, feel exciting, but you don't quite know what to do with them. And suddenly you might say, oh, with Mercury going into Sagittarius, you might say, oh, yes, I, I understand how it needs to be done. It's because Mercury is the planet of ideas um, and of thought. And so the thinking process will start to get a hold um, of what needs to be done. And um, that's uh, that's something... Um, something to think about and now if you are a Taurus who speaks a lot of languages or speaks more than one language um, your linguistic abilities may come into play I mean not just today but over the next next couple of weeks um, you know this is because you know this this sign change Mercury moving from Sagittarius to Capricorn um, may put a bit of emphasis on foreign cultures foreign languages um access to um access to people who you know have a very different background from your own and so if you have an ability to speak a foreign language um really try to use try to use that ability um because you know i think you can you know um well for a start you can show the world um you know how talented and versatile you are but what if you don't speak a foreign language well um you might think well it's too late (laughs) well you know you can actually learn a foreign language um and if there's a particular language that you've been really desperate to learn then um over the weekend you might you should be well i would advise you to give it another give it some more thought because you may actually have an opportunity to um to start to learn this language even you know even if you know nothing about it you can start sort of um you know you can start sort of working on this language now if you if you are a torean who is of a spiritual bent um then you might even want to learn a language which is associated um with spirituality which has it or rather was a connection with religion you know so for example i don't know if you want to if you're interested in christianity then it's a good time to start you know thinking about learning you know greek or hebrew if you're interested in judaism good time to learn hebrew if you're interested in islam do you want to learn arabic why not now's a good time to start or if if it's um buddhism uh what are they seeing? Pali or Hindu? What do they mean? Sanskrit? You know, but there's there's a religious language um, that you that you might uh, might start to be interested in. And and I should say that Mercury is moving into Capricorn. Capricorn does actually have a special connection with India. So I mean, I know this is a completely offbeat suggestion, but uh, yeah, it's actually a good time for um, Toreans to learn sanskrit if that's what you really want to do of course that's a really difficult language um um, but uh i'm just trying to um you know maximize the potential of you know everything on offer so if you have ever been hankering you know hankering to learn sanskrit now is the time to do it um so that's uh that's some of the stuff going on um you it's um it's a weekend where you really mustn't underestimate yourself um it's a weekend where you should be you know reaching out for new horizons and you you shouldn't think that uh there are limits you know to what you can learn to what you can understand you know there really um there really are no limits um and you know you are helped of course by the fact that you know being a Taurus you are very stubborn and persistent and once you commit to something you see it through so if there's something you want to learn um you can say to yourself you're going to learn it and you're going to set up a plan and yeah i think um i think you will be um pretty successful now one final point um about uh relationships if you are 
involved in a relationship, um, then you might find that your partner is um, a little bit uh, domineering. Uh, domineering in the sense that uh, the partner seems to know what is right and wrong. I mean, they mightn't be wrong, but they certainly believe that they know what is right and wrong. And they're, they are going to be... Um, you know, quite keen to sort of tell you what to do and tell you what is appropriate, what is not appropriate. So um, you have to work out how to deal with that. Um, maybe you need some advice. Uh, maybe you need someone to tell you what can and cannot be done. But it may also be the case that uh, it's a time when you need to start to express your freedom. And if you feel that it's time to express your freedom, then perhaps relationships uh, this weekend, you, maybe you should give it a miss um, or distance yourself from an existing partner just so the, just so the weekend. Um, Monday, that's another day. Okay, so that's uh, that's a weekend, Taurus. Um, looks looks good. Um, a great great weekend for maximizing your abilities, and um, yeah, I hope you take you're able to take advantage of everything that's on offer. Thanks for listening and I will talk to you again very soon.